Do you recommend including coconut oil in our diet? Mm. Coconut oil is interesting because it has, it has the highest saturated fat content of pretty much any type of any source of fat that we have. It's about 90% saturated fat. Uh, but it, the saturated fats in coconut oil are a mix of a different mix of types of saturated fat than we would get from dairy fat or from uh, red uh, from red meat fat, uh, and the uh, the metabolic consequences, the effects on blood lipids are a little different. The, those fats from coconut oil do elevate uh, HDL, the good cholesterol, more than uh, other longer chain uh, types of saturated fat. Uh, we don't have a any long-term studies looking at coconut oil and rates of heart disease or cancer. Uh, we've actually tried to do some, stu some studies, but um, in the areas we've looked at, just not enough people were consuming enough coconut oil to, to be able to have a good look at that. But coconut oil still does raise LDL cholesterol. So I think uh, given what the information we have now, I, I wouldn't recommend coconut oil as a primary fat in the diet on a day-to-day -day basis. It does have a really good flavor. There's some dishes that uh, are really, that we, where we want that special flavor from coconut oil, I think go ahead and have it. But again, from what we can see now, it's probably not an optimal type of fat in the diet and I would keep its use to occasional. Should we assume if an organization like JAMA accepts a study that the study was a credible study? In general, the major journals like JAMA, the New England Journal of Medicine, do probably the best uh, reviews, uh, sending their papers to uh, experts and getting uh, feedback from them. But all of us are humans, <laughs> all experts are humans. Uh, we don't always get it right 100% of the time. So I think no matter where a paper is published, we should look at it critically, uh, look at it in the context of what else we know. Uh, and um, I can tell you that every journal publishes some papers that are uh, it turned out not to be correct. And even at the time we're published, probably shouldn't have been published. How do health and nutrition studies manipulate the public to come to conclusions the study's authors want? There's lots of ways that studies can be manipulated to twist and uh, shift the balance of, of results. Uh, sometimes, uh, as, as scientists, we should really be open to any possible conclusion of our study, but uh, we're not always. And sometimes we're, uh, scientists are paid to do a study. And in general, that uh, even the most objective of people, it's hard to uh, completely eliminate unconscious biases and what we'd like to see in general. We humans I'd like to please people. That's maybe a good human attribute. And to please our funders, uh, it's, it's, I think, uh, likely to be the case that most people doing a study would like to please their funders. And, and that can get in the way of being totally objective. But oftentimes, the studies are designed in ways that will influence the result. For example, uh, if you're doing a uh, study of red meat, for example, and uh, what's going to be really, uh, what will shape the conclusion to a great degree is the comparison group. So if you're comparing red meat to the usual American diet, uh, it's going to make red meat look not so bad because the usual American diet is full of refined starches, sugar, until very recently a lot of trans fat. And so if you are looking at red meat compared to the usual American diet and you show no difference, it doesn't mean that you, it's a good thing to eat as much red meat as you want to. A uh, more reasonable question would be to compare red meat to other specific sources of protein, like comparing red meat to fish intake or red meat uh, compared to healthy plant-based protein sources uh, like uh, uh, nuts and uh, legumes and, and soy products. Uh, so the red meat industry has funded quite a few studies to look at red meat. And interestingly, almost all of them are com studies compared to usual diet. And usually it's ultra low fat uh, trims, uh, ultra low fat cuts of red meat. Uh, the meat industry, uh, to my knowledge, has never funded a study looking at red meat compared to plant-based protein sources. What impact does red meat have on our health? The impact of red meat on our health really depends uh, on what you're comparing it to. Uh, in, in nutrition, the comparison is always uh, an important consideration. It, 
if you were designing a randomized trial, it, it's the same as saying what what would the control group be if you want to study red meat or fish or what anything. Uh, and th what we see is that if you look at red meat compared to the usual American diet for heart disease, there's a, a modest increase in risk. But if we compare red meat to uh, plant protein sources such as nuts, like soy products, uh, legumes, then there is a higher risk of uh, cardiovascular disease with higher red meat consumption. Uh, comparing red meat with um, fish, uh, we do also see higher risk with uh, higher consumption of, of red meat. Uh, so it re the, uh, whether you say red meat is good for you, bad for you, really depends on the comparison. And I would say if you're doing a study in the context of really poverty diets like we see in many parts of the world where most of the diet is a lot of uh, is carbohydrates often 80% uh, in the much, much of Asia for example of calories are coming from uh, from rice uh, and many micronutrients are low in that kind of context red meat probably in modest amounts almost surely would have some beneficial effects on health so uh, there's not a simple answer to most questions in nutrition. It, it depends on the context, it depends on the comparison. But if uh, from everything we see, putting all the pieces together, uh, the healthiest diet would be quite low in red meat. It's not essential. Uh, very small amounts are probably okay. But in general, the healthiest diet will have a, a, a primarily plant-based protein sources, of course, along with healthy uh, carbohydrates, uh, plenty of fruits and vegetables.